Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you the hidden video editor that's built into Windows 10. It's really easy to use. I think it's something you'll enjoy. Let's get started. First thing you want to do in Windows 10 is come down to your search bar and type in Photos. And when you do, you'll see the best match says Photos app. You want to click that. When you click the Photos app, it'll open this window, and the window will have some of the photos that you have on your computer, and it'll actually have dates showing when those photos were made. What you want to do is click New Video, and on New Video, you want to click Automatic Video. And on Automatic Video, it says Create New Video. Select two more items to add to your video. We're going to click Folders, and then I'm going to click Add a Folder, and on my computer, I'm going to select this folder. And what I do, it shows all the photos that are in that folder. Now, what I want to do now is just select two more items to add to your video. So let's go through here and select about 12 items. I think that's enough right there. And then click Create. And get to name the video. And then click OK. And it's creating a video. And there's a video it created. Now there's a couple things you can do here. You can click Edit Video. And with the edit video, you have the project library where you can add more images if you want. We're not going to do that, so we're going to close that like this. And down below here, we can see all the images that we selected. This is the first one. And you know, I think I'll move it over here and set it right there. And you notice you can drag these images around. So if you want to put them in a certain order, you can. Let's put this one up here. And you know, when it comes to videos, it's always nice to have a title page. Let's select this first one and click Add Title Page. And it puts a little blank title there. I'm going to right click and select Edit Text. And I'm going to change this to Venice, Florida. And I really want something that looks a little bit better than, than just white text on a blue background. And what I have here is I have a number of different effects. I'll just click those. Now that looks pretty good. I think I'll go with that. But you could go through and click any of these to get the effect that you want. So we like that. And we click Done. Now we notice on the screen here there's a little number. That's the amount of time it's going to be on the screen. We can right click and then select Duration. And I want this title to be on the screen about three seconds. So I click Change, and it's changed. Now I don't want this one anymore, so I'm just going to delete that one. Just press the Delete key. And again, like I said, you can move things around to get the right look that you want. And there are a couple other things you might want to do. Let's when we play this, you notice that, for example, this one right here has black bars on the side. We don't want black bars, so we're going to make sure that we've selected that. We come up to Resize, and under Resize, we're going to choose Remove Black Bars. And notice the black bars are gone now. And in fact, we'll probably do that on all the clips that we have. We'll go up to Resize and Remove Black Bars. So that's pretty easy to do. Now, if you don't like the background music, you can click this link that says Background Music. And you'll see that the Windows Video Editor has lots of background music that comes with it. So if you don't like the one that's there, you can select a different one. You can play it if you want. And once you decide you like that, if you put a check mark right here, it'll sync your video to the music's beat, which means it'll sync the photos to the beat of the music. And click Done. And then the last thing I probably want to do is to put my mouse right there, click Add a Title Card, and then Add a Title Card. I want to edit that, and then I'll type in whatever I want to do, and then click Done. While you're doing this, at any time, you can hit the Play button to see what you've got. But if you like the, the way it looks, you can hit Finish Video, and it'll actually save the video for you in either a high MP4 or medium or low. And then once you're done, you're done. Now, it automatically saves it for you, so every time that you open that photo app, these videos are going to be here. If I want to go back to the photo app, I can at any time, and I can look at the projects that I've already done. Now, I've just shown you the easy part of creating new videos. The way we did that is we just click New Video, and then we did a automatic video. We could have done a new video project where we can import different images. And also in this automatic video, we could have imported video clips as well as photo clips. Now I'm going to end this by showing you a video that I created yesterday. It took me about three minutes. Again, to find the photo app, all you have to do is go into the search bar on Windows and just type in Photos and select the photo app. thought you might be interested in knowing about this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com. Thank you.